In this video I'm going to discuss the s changes they've made to the logo section of Easy As. Previously they gave you two choices of logos. Let me just jump in there to make more sense. So if I just jump into the logo section and if I click this top box, previously they gave you a type A and a type B logo selection. So you could use so when you use the default invoice layouts, you can choose what type of log what type of logo you want to be using, whether it's a logo to go up in the left hand corner or a logo to go across the top. I'm not gonna go through all that. There is other in there is other videos for that guys. And if I look down the bottom here it now has a type C logo and this type C logo is the same as the A type logo in that it uses this same image or it uses the same size image guys. It uses that same sized image and it now changed an alteration of the layout. They've had numerous requests from certain people to provide a printout that when folded in the normal sized standard sized A4 size paper folded standard using standard sized envelopes the address box to the client would not match up if they were using a Windows type envelope. So if you want to use Windows envelopes and you want to make use out of the address section on the invoice so you're not having to duplicate that then you can use the type C invoice. Now I'm just going to select the type A invoice for a second because I want to show you what that looks like and the changes. So I'm going to select the type A. I'm just going to switch this invoice on because I haven't got it on here. Okay, so there's your typical invoice layout. Type A with the icon on the top left hand corner. I don't need to go through that. I think you understand that. Now if I jump back out of here and I change that invoice, the so I change the logo setup, I'm going to change it to tell me that I want a type C. Type C is now activated. If I jump back to the invoice, you'll now see that the layouts change slightly. Instead of that logo appearing on the left hand corner, it now appears over to the right hand side. I'll discuss why that's not on the edge here in a second. What I want you to have a look at is this. You'll notice that previously the date and the invoice number appeared up top here. So the layout's been changed slightly so it's at this box. This is the important box. So that this here moves up the invoice because previously it was sitting somewhere down here. So on the standard fold it was not folding and lining up with a Windows, Windows envelope. So they've now altered the outlook of the invoice so that this moves up into a region which is going to be compatible with a standard size envelope of this nature for this type of A4 size printing sheet. That's pretty much self-explanatory. What happened here with this invoice, with this logo? Depending upon your logo, if you're already using A size logos, in a previous videos you would have noted that when I when I created some of these different logos and showed you how to alter these BMP BMP logos boxes, you would have noticed that I added this here. Now, even though this is the whole size of the logos itself, you don't have to use that whole box as I mentioned previously. But what happened is, now if you look at this, see I've got this big blank section at the side, because that logo is now switched to the right hand side, it's showing that blank section. So that's why that's appearing. So if you do change to a C class logo, be aware that if your image is off, all of a sudden you go, well, what's going on? Because you might be like we did, and we didn't alter the size of the image because it was going to make it look off-putting we just used up what we wanted in this box. So just be aware of that. So if I was going to fix that, now how would I fix it? I'm just going to save this again, save as just another logo here. I'm going to call it logo, um, oh, logo C, there we go, because it's a C class logo that I'm going to use. I'm going to save that so that I don't destroy the original one. I'm going to select all that. I'm just going to move that over to here because I want it over as far to the right as I can possibly go. Hopefully that'll line up pretty nicely. I'll save that. So now I've saved my logo. I'm going to close this here, 
problem is now is I've got to tell Easy As where that logo is because it's dumb, it doesn't understand what to do. So now I'm just going to tell it as previously in the other in videos. I'm going to select here, I'm going to tell it to use that logo. I click OK, it's chosen that one, it's told me what one it chose. So now if I jump back to the invoice, I quickly preview that you're going to notice now it's going to look a lot better and there we go now it actually looks like it should be there so that's the explanation of the change in the C class logo I don't think I need to explain that any further